Well, good morning, everybody. This is another beautiful day the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Top of the morning, it is another week that the Lord has given us um, strength, and, the, and he has, um, we're up this morning. We have his strength, and we'll have his stamina throughout the course of the day. So thank you for allowing me into your private space as we begin another week of Mac in the Morning, a time of encouragement, inspiration, and motivation through the Word of God. Um, so I am excited to be with you again. We are uh, wanting to do our part to um, get back into the groove, in the groove of coming on and uh, being with you. Um, and I pray that we will um, be able to embrace this season. Everything is different now. Um, the times are changing, but our God remains the same. All right. So I want to encourage you to keep on. Um, living diligently um, through your obedience to the Holy Spirit and living, and living diligently um, through the word of God, letting God's word light your path. Because David the psalmist says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So as so many are are scrambling, trying to figure out what to do, you already know what to do. We're going to trust the Lord. All right. So can't wait to see all those that are up and able to chime in with us. Um, I, um, hey, Noah, how are you doing, sir? Um, I saw your email, man. I started reading it. I haven't finished it yet, but by the time I saw it, it was pretty late last night, but I'll finish it today. I'm glad to hear about what the Lord is doing, what, what God is doing there uh, with your people, sir. Keep up the good work, man. Mighty, mighty, mighty proud of you. Yes, sir. Times are changing. But our God remains the same, right? From here to Africa, he's the same. May his name be praised. Um, so I'm so proud of you, man. Let's uh, go to the Father in prayer. Lord, indeed, we love you and we thank you. You are the awesome God. You're not an awesome God, but you are the awesome God. No one, nothing compares to you nor deserves to be in the same sentence as you. And although the times are changing, we will not allow anyone to uh, put thoughts in our minds to make us question who you are. We love you and we thank you. And um, it is because of your sovereignty that we are engaging in some of the conversations that we have today. Because people want to blame somebody um, for what's happening. And so many are trying to blame you. We don't blame you, God. You are sovereign. You you could have intervened a long time ago and got all this stuff straight, but you're sovereign. You are allowing mankind um, to make decisions. And so, Father, as your sons and daughters, our decision is to trust you. And so we thank you. We pray that in this season of the life here on earth, that, that men and women, boys and girls will be drawn to you they will see that you are the able God. And in these circumstances, they'll turn their hearts to you and let us as your sons and daughters live this light out, Father, that men will see our good works. They will glorify you, our Father in heaven. Thank you for our time this morning. Let it be for us, whatever your desire is for it to be. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hey, Marcus, good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So listen, um, we... Um, we kind of started a new series on yesterday, you know, the, we've been dealing with going deeper and we're still in that vein of going deeper. Uh, but yet I, I pressed with another question, um, uh, another, um, uh, series of thinking on yesterday, it, dealing with going deeper, but, um, we're going deeper. So the thought that I put on the table yesterday was faithing through the unknown, <laughs> faithing through the unknown and, and, and the caption is, who are you trusting? Faithing through the unknown. And the caption, my question for you this morning is, who are you trusting? Okay. Now we know um, that, that, um, that in times like these, um, this is not the time for the church to go um, dark silent. This is not the time. This is a time for us that we must be concrete in our foundational beliefs, right? So we as the sons and daughters of God should not find ourselves um, betwixt and between wishy-washy on who God is, 
Again, there are many that would like to back us up in the corner to press us. You do not have to defend God. God fights his own fights. God fights God's battles, right? So we there's no way we can defend him um, um, from anybody. Um, but we have to be concrete in what we believe. We have to be for sure about who we believe and what we believe about God. I hope that's making sense for us. Um, this is time for the church that so we cannot be wavering. Um, we got to be concrete. As I said, we must be focused, strong, and united. Focused, strong, and united as we face the obstacle that's in our path today. Um, and this obstacle, um, that, that the newest obstacle is corona, is a coronavirus, right? What's going on, Brent Haynes? That's the newest obstacle. But can we be clear that we have always had obstacles in front of us? Uh, even before Corona, a lot of us were facing issues within our families, health-wise, financially-wise. Hey, ain't Bree, good morning to you. Uh, Y'all, that's my aunt in San Diego. Um, so Corona is nothing new. We can find out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's so true. And for this reason, uh, I'm asking, who do you trust? Because we in, in this day and time as believers, we've got to be willing and wanting to trust God. All right. Um, our, our passage for the week is Isaiah 26, verses three and verses four. And Isaiah and this is a song of praise, a song of celebration that Isaiah um, sings over the people to God. Um, they are, have been given entry back into the city of Jerusalem, um, the, the high place. And this song erupts out of Isaiah. And he says, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast uh, because they trust in you. Here's verse four, trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. All right, uh, you would keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. I want to encourage us that although the times are changing, that we must put our trust and keep our trust in God. Faithing, having faith in God through the unknown. Um, and we, we must be very careful because some of us, even as the sons and daughters of God, um, will lose it. Keep your mind. Oh, yes, sir. Oh yes, oh yes, because again, we'll, we, we, we will lose it um, because there's so many unknowns, so many unknowns. Uh, after we had our time with our children last night, we we're reading through Ecclesiastes again and uh, it's amazing how our, the conversation just just shifts. And so I, I, it, it put even more thoughts and things in my heart and mind about the un, what's unknown, not, not just about my future, but about their future. You know, how are they looking at this situation? Um, uh, now we were telling the telling them to, uh, McKenzie, McKenzie is going into medicine. That That's her thoughts, going to medicine. You know, like, make sure you're listening at these at, right now because there's so many things going on. You'll be able to recall living through the CDC, putting things on the table and people not leaving homes and all that. And Michaela's looking to be going into the, 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 the field of law um, who's been doing all the talking, Kayla? Um, the, the the county judges. Why do the county judge? So uh, allow, reminded them to to seize these moments. Hey, Miss C, good morning to you, and to 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 think about their lives will never be the same again. Mackenzie's a senior in high school. May not have a prom. Probably won't. May not even have a graduation. Things are changing, but we know. What stays the same? And that is our God. The love of God, the power of God, the peace of God remains the same. 
as much as this is a challenging time, we know the source of peace. Therefore, it's incumbent upon us to remain centered on our source. A week ago today, life was a little bit different, right? Now, a week later, life is continuing to change. The government, uh, our, our, our counties here in Texas have put orders out about people uh, not leaving their homes and uh, only buying a 12 pack of toilet tissue. You know, it's an interesting day when we have to put, the, the, the judges have to legislate on how much toilet tissue somebody can buy. <laughs> but the challenge is we're going to keep our faith in the Lord. All right. Um, so, I, I, and I use the word faith and you know, that's not a real word, <laughs> but I, you can make up a word every now and then. So faith in, because faith is, um, it is a noun and a verb, right? So I, I want us to see faithing as it's not only um, in confidence of something stronger than us, that's the noun, but, 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 but faith um, is also um, the idea of how we live because we, um, John said to us, we went over this last week in John, first John two and six, that we live in Christ and we walk like Christ. So, so faith is a, is, is an action word, yet it is also a part of who we are. It's our being, right? So we're faithing through the unknown. This is the, the season for us, for our faith to be strong, everybody. And it's, 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 it's so important for us that although we cannot go to the walls, the building of the church, for us to remain connected to our local church the best way we can through technology, if it's, even if it's just using the telephone, we've got to stay connected because we have to be connected with people that are of like minds and like faiths because it takes, it takes discipline. It takes, again, um, remaining strong and united in this season so that we can make it everybody just just think if we if we start struggling now what if we lose the access of the internet what if we lose the access of the telephone and we cannot be connected to other people that's why we have to stay connected to god right so that's the challenge for the week. Uh, faithing through the unknown. Uh-huh. Who are you trusting? Who are you trusting? Uh, I challenged the church on yesterday and I told them that uh, I'm not coming to you, talking to you today as a political figure. Nope, not doing it. I'm not talking to you, giving you a hype speech as your coach. I'm not that guy. I am not giving you, sending you an email as your boss telling you what to do while you're not coming in office. Not that guy. I am not I'm sitting down listening to you, trying to offer you some, some questions, help you think some things through as your therapist. Not that guy. Uh, but, 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 but I do stand as, uh, as God's servant, as a man of God to tell you what God has to say. Yes, sir. We have to do that for sure. What, the, what God has to say about the matter and how we can remain sane in this season of insanity. And it all goes back to who are you trusting? All right, so that's gonna be the challenge for the week. We, we, gotta, we have to deal with this whole idea of, uh, of, of, of our trust and our faith in God, right? Uh, let let me tell you some truths about what we know. We do know that there's no cure. Just like there's no cure for the common cold, there are many diseases where there's no cure. No cure. Hey, Yashika, good morning to you. Um, what we do know is that information keeps changing. We do know that. Um, and for this cause, I'm challenging you to go deeper in your trust 
and in your belief in God, to go deeper in your faith. Um, it's we, we are in some trying times, but listen, all is not lost. Yes, sir. All is not lost though, everybody. God is still in control. And Isaiah says to the people of Israel, you will keep us in perfect peace. Those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. So the peace that we're looking for, we already have it. Right? But here's a challenge. The challenge for us is to make sure we keep looking through the lenses of God. This year, our, our, our theme is 2020, a year of spiritual clarity. And spiritual clarity will not be there for us if we're not looking through God's lens. If we continue to look through our perspective and how we are viewing the situation, we will always see the situation through eyes of humanity. But we've got to see this through the eyes of divinity through the eyes of God, that God sees this completely different than how we're viewing it. Yes, it's in moments like these that I believe God is trying, wanting to see the testing of our faith, if his children are going to trust him or not, if his children are going to be wise about what they do know. You see, we get so caught up in the unknown what we don't know versus being um, satisfied and protected by what we do know. And I hear you say, well, Mac, what do we know? I'm glad you asked that you need to wash your hands every day, all day long, depending on what you're touching. We do know that, right? Isn't it making sense? And, um, uh, we've got to see things through God's perspective and we're not, we don't need to be practical, no. We need to be wise, right? So it's, 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 it's wise for us to wash our hands. It's wise for us to keep distance from people. That's how the disease continues. But there are some people that are so selfish. We are so selfish. Some people are still acting through life as life has not changed. They're doing the same. All that they want to do, they're still getting out to do it. And we're not making any adjustments. Wow. We've got to see things through the spiritual, the spiritual lens. Yeah. Here God has offered us, and please don't think I'm ever making light of, the, of this disease because people are dying. My, I have a cousin in um, Cal, in um, uh, Seattle that has contracted this this disease. She works for the Seattle, the city of Seattle, and um, she has contracted um, this coronavirus. So it has affected my family. So n by no means am I making light of it, right? Yet, as spiritual beings, we've got to see things through a through God's lens and be wise about what we do. It is when Paul prayed over the church in Ephesus, he said, I continue to pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ would give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation in order to know him better. As we are pursuing God through Jesus Christ, the intimacy we have with God opens our eyes. The intimacy we have with God, because we're wanting to, 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 uh, to faith with him, uh, faith through Christ. We, we, we want to be the example, follow through with the example of Christ because we're so intimately going deeper in our fellowship and relationship. Our eyes are opening. Yes, we have to be wise, but what is God doing in this season? Instead of us seeing the glass as half empty, we need to see it half full, that God is offering us opportunity to be at home with our families, to renew our relationship with them, to spend time in scripture, praying with them, praying over them. And listen, if, if there were some things at the store we could not buy, maybe God is working that for our good too. Some of us might lose some weight in this season. <laughs> Faithing through the unknown, who are you trusting? 
That's going to be our challenging thought for the week. As we look at this passage of Isaiah 26, you would keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. Even in these moments of distress, God is able to keep you. Even in these moments of the unknown, God is able to keep you. Even in these moments of, 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 of potential, potential change every day, something else is coming out. God is able to keep you now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and will present you faultlessly. God is able, everybody. So if you don't hear anything else, don't remember anything else I said today, just remember that God is able. And we're going to walk out and live out our faith in this season. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. This is what we have. And baby, this is all we need. Our hope is in God. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this time of encouragement, this time of inspiration and motivation. And as we continue to read your word, just as you had, you, you placed in the heart of Isaiah to sing over the people and sing to you because of the, the success you allowed them to have. Father, we already walk in our victory. And so we sing this song of celebration that you would keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in thee. We will continue to sing that, Father. We'll chant that. We'll allow those words to minister to our hearts as we're walking in our victory. We choose you. Yes, Lord, we choose you. So we thank you for making yourself known to us. And who knows what tomorrow is going to bring? Who knows what the remainder of this day is going to bring? It does not matter. We choose you. So, Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters, your sons and daughters, as, as they, some are still having, going into the marketplace and some will be at home. Give them confidence in you, Father, as they speak truth, faith, and love over their families. Give them the right words to say when their children or grandchildren are asking questions. And if they don't have the answer, they, can just, they will pray with the family and don't make it up to make the system, make the matter worse. Let us walk this out. Father, we are faithing through the unknown. These are unprecedented times that, that we've never seen before, not just here in America, but across the world. But it doesn't matter, Father, you are still the same. So we love you. We thank you. Father, will you bless us and keep us, allow your face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. Lift your countenance upon us and give us your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody, thank you once again for allowing me into your private space. Have a fantastic day. Um, don't forget to love God. Thank him for power, for strength, and for the unity we have in the body of Christ. Since um, everybody was not able to make it to their church on yesterday, um, please reach out to your people and, um, and let them know that you're on their mind and you're praying for them. We have to do our part to stay connected. One Church, thank you for doing that. Keep on doing it. Do it harder, do it more. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, um, same place for another time of Mac in the morning. Love you. Bye-bye.